Hi, this is Krista from Crafty Canada Studio, and today I'm going to show you how I made some cute gingerbread Christmas ornaments using my X Tool machine as well as my Cricut. So, I used the Laserbox Basic program that comes with the X Tool machine. My wood is 1 8 inch birch, and I set my material to basswood and 5 millimeters. I put the power at 98% and the speed at 2 millimeters per second and I sized my gingerbread men at 4 inches or about 102 millimeters in the program. I made a couple of gingerbread people the other day. Here's the little guy. I used some little snowflake embellishments for the buttons instead of the wood button cutouts that come with my SVG. Today I'm just going to decorate the girl to give you all a quick tutorial. I used this Rich Espresso Metallics acrylic paint by DecoArt. It gives them kind of a pretty shimmery look. I got it at Walmart. And then I'm just going to use some regular acrylic craft paint to do the, the dress and the collar, the little frostings, and the bow. So now I have my pieces all painted. When I made the gingerbread girl the other day the collar the way I originally made it sat on top of the shirt but I didn't like how thick it was around the neck so I changed it so that the collar is now inset into the dress and I like that a lot better okay. and then I'm just gonna glue my pieces on with this tacky glue but before that, I remembered why I used my Cricut. I cut out a stencil to use to draw out where the eyes and buttons and everything go. And I also cut out the shirt just to show that you can, that's an option as well instead of painting. Just make sure you size your Cricut image the same as the size that you, you used in the laser cutter. So the template definitely isn't necessary but I have a hard time lining things up I tend to put things on crooked so I just liked it just to mark everything out I am on my way I'm in motion let's go to the ocean yeah let's go outside and when I put put the shirt on I realized I needed to mark my buttons and my frostings on top of the shirt it didn't do much good under the shirt so I did that we'll be chilling and having a good good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the then I glued on my bow and instead of using the little circle wood cutout I decided to use a little red pearl instead Hang out with my friends and family then I decided to also use these white pearls for her buttons. I used little snowflake embellishments on the other two that I made, but I like the look of these white pearls, and they're so super easy to use. No, he wouldn't miss it. Then I glued on her little white collar. And I decided for the eyes this time I was going to use some little black uh, rhinestones as well instead of the little cutouts that you can see there that I made then after the eyes I glued the mouth down and instead of gluing on the little frosting cutouts I decided to try this paint paint pen that I bought and here are all my gingerbread people to finish these off I'll add some hooks to the top or maybe a string and some beads to hang them from the tree I hope you 
give these a try. Cut them out yourselves, either with your laser cutter or your Cricut machine. And if you do, I'd love to see a photo. You can send it to me via email or tag me in your post. Have a good time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Sing this song. Hey.